90.1 KBPK. I'm Joseph Pavlenko here on what doesn't look at all like Fullerton College. It's a change of pace for us. Uh, Mark Pavlovich today with me as we're wandering around Cypress College. We were on a tour earlier, and like Mark and I tend to do, we're finding ways to get in trouble right now. Um, uh, behind us is the brand new Veterans Resource Center, and we'll be talking about that. We've got some excellent stuff from the preview that we got to go on today, as well as the Science, Engineering, and Math Building, which is weird to me. It's a SEM, S-E-M, not STEM. Mark got to talk to the director of the Veterans Resource Center, Juan, and everybody else on here. And Mark, what were some of the things you took away from being on Cypress, Cal Cypress College today? Well, I mean, it's an open campus, which really invites everybody to come back. Joe and I will tell you what we really liked at the end of this short little interview. And I'll tell you what I really like. I'm really looking forward to the actual grand opening where we might get to play with things when we come back next time for the grand opening of the SEM. I still call it the STEM because it's science, technology, engineering, and math. They threw out the technology, but we know it's over there. And the new Veterans Center, the director is just a very personable young man. If you're a veteran, this is the place to come to. I can't wait for the grand opening. So let's go to that interview with you and Juan inside of the Veterans Resource Center. Welcome to 90.1 KBPK. I'm here at the new Veterans Center at Cypress College, and I'm lucky enough to be with the director of the Veterans Center, Sergeant Juan Garcia, or should I say Dr. Juan Garcia? I mean, either way, I can put it that way. And, and Juan, you and I have had the pleasure of talking before we came in for the tour today. And so tell me a little reason behind why this center is so important to Cypress College. Uh, the center is really important to our all of our incoming, present, and future uh, vets. Uh, this, this center provides services to over uh, 900 military affiliated students, which include active duty, reservists, uh, dependents, and our veteran population. So this one space for, for that uh, population is really important because it's a one-stop shop where they can get their academics, personal uh, needs met. We have, uh, we have counselors, we have uh, dedicated staff who provide case management, and then we also have uh, off-campus and on-campus resources that provide um, academic and personal support to them. And one of the things you were talking about as we took this tour of this beautiful facility, I love the way they laid it out, the colors that they use here. But one of the things you brought up, and I think it's important to say before we move on with the rest of the crew, that even though you have this center, this center itself needs more funding from the state of California or individuals that have supported the military individuals all these years to keep this facility running and helping those individuals. Right, so uh, our numbers are 900 military affiliated students, but we only get funding from the state for about 350 who are actually getting, who are here on campus um, using their GI Bill. Uh, but there's a, there's a gap of, of funding that we need from the additional 600 students who are attending Cypress College but are not using their, their benefits. They might not be using their benefits for different reasons. They're saving them. Uh, they may have not qualified for their benefits or they, it's been, uh, they've exhausted their time or their time to use it ran, ran out. So, and, and to kind of help them out, we try and provide additional support services uh, with book vouchers, a book loan program. Uh, we try and do as much as we can, but that's where we need those additional fundings, whether it's through the state or through grants or private donors, that's where they can come and, and, and um, help us uh, provide additional services to the remaining student population. And before we move on here, I got one last question. What's your inner true feeling about this center being a proud veteran being a proud marine they build you a new building but i mean what did it make you feel like emotionally when you finally got to walk in here and look at it it was a surreal um emotion i mean uh i remember stepping on campus once the fences were down and uh just seeing the entire layout i honestly cried a little bit just because um, you know, to think back and from 2008, where there were absolutely no services to our Iraq and Afghanistan vets, to the 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 building, the the Memorial Bridge, the Tribute Garden, it, it all uh, it all ties together to show our our current students, our current vets, that we're here to support you. So this is 
Dr. Juan Garcia or Sergeant Juan Garcia, one of the few, the proud, the brave United States Marine Corps. If you're a veteran and you're around the Cypress Center or if you're a veteran in Orange County, I tell you what, come over to this new veteran center, knock on the door because this is a gentleman that'll help you come back home find a place to visit, and help you take that next step if you need somebody to help you, or just to say, hey, I was there. Thank you for what you've done. Juan, thank you for everything you've done. I appreciate you as a veteran, and thank you for what you're doing for those men and women today that may need that home to come to. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Juan Garcia, the director of the new Cypress Veteran Center. Welcome to Cypress College here on 90.1 KPPK. I'm Mark Pavlovich along with my partner, Joseph Pavlinko, and we're here for the preview of the Veterans Center here at Cypress, and then we'll take a stroll over to the new STEM building, see what that looks like. Joe, I gotta ask you point blank. You're on campus right here. You had a lot of nice things to say walking here. What's the feeling like standing here in front of the Veterans Center? Um, kind of a lot of the things that we heard today. The openness of everything, um, all of the California native plants they were talking about was super awesome to see. The insides of these buildings looked fantastic, um, and the preview that we got today was fantastic. Uh, the most impressive thing you saw between the Veterans Center and the new Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math building? I want to say it's a tie, but I'm lying, but my two favorite things would be the, the writable windows in math just because that's cool um, but the thing that I actually want to play with on this campus is their planetarium and the controls in that 360 projection dome. So those are a few things that Joe and I got to see as we took this preview tour here at Cypress College. We're going to be back. Make sure you watch for the opening. We'll keep letting you know here on 90.1 KBPK. And uh, for Joseph Pavlinko, for Mark Pavlovich, hey, it was a heck of a tour. You know what? You think you and I can sneak back into the planetarium and uh, sort of play with the gadgets? I mean, it's only one way to find out. Well, since we're going to go do that, thank you for being with us today on 90.1 KBPK. Hey, let's go and play.